User-defined fields are added by clicking the Tools menu, and selecting Global User-defined fields. This window is used to add more tabs, and fields within those tabs. To add another tab we can either click the New Tab button or double-click to add a new tab. Let's call our tab, Membership. Next we'll add some fields to the Membership tab. To do this we double-click to add a new field under the Membership heading. Our first field will be called Membership Number. The next field is called Joined. We'll make this a date field. Our next field is called Membership Type, and it's a drop down list with three entries. Note that we enter the items in the drop down list by clicking the List Items button. Each item is placed on a new line. This is our user defined fields window with all our fields entered. If some of the fields are in the wrong position we can change the sequence in which they appear by using the up and down arrows. Let's look at the finished contact window, showing the membership tab. If we open a contact in another group it will show the same membership tab. Because we configured the fields using the Global User Defined Fields option. You may wish to have different user defined fields for different groups and our advanced tutorial shows you how to do this.